Alright guys, let's so warm up. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with a uh, guard pass on our feet and the personal bottom just to over the guard. Okay, uh, very simple. I'm gonna move to the side. It's gonna just push, push my leg and then spin the hips and put me in the guard. That's the first one. Okay, facing your opponent. Okay. The next one is gonna be like a leg drag, okay? I go this way, it's gonna roll. And then recover the guard. Okay. Got it? Okay. Very simple, right? And then the third one, I'll throw the legs to the side and he's gonna immediately like recover as fast as he can. So you're gonna bring this leg here. Pushing the leg, using the feet on the floor. Okay? Here. Second one, rolling, facing outside. It's like a leg drag. Defense, you see? And lastly, uh, he's gonna recover as fast as he can. Okay? So the first three, we're gonna be on our, on our feet. And then we're gonna do when your opponent is like with the knees on the floor, okay? So the first on top can, we can go as a knee cut or as a three on the pass, okay? But I need to drop the knees on the floor. So when I close this space, he's gonna frame my arm, and then we go with the board. Okay? And then the next one, I'm gonna control his leg, move to the side, move it upside down and roll. Yeah, one side, other side. See, all right? On your knees, you're gonna do two type of uh, pass, okay? Coriano, you're gonna frame. See, he grabs my arm. The, don't push the hips, okay? Because then your opponent controls your head. So you're gonna push the bicep, okay? You go over the guard, okay? And then I'll pass, controlling his fence, the bottom, the bottom leg. You see, he uses his shin. He uses his shin as a frame, okay? Right here. You cannot put the legs outside, okay? Chin and forearms, okay? Right here. All right? Three standing and two like on her knees, all right? Let's go, one, two, three, go. All right, okay, so we have the traditional spider guard sweep, which are knees on the floor. Uh, Start the knees on the floor, I gotta control both sleeves, okay? Keeping my head, put on the bicep right here. Okay. So I'll choose one side. I can play spider guard with both feet on the bicep. So you're gonna start like sideways here. And the traditional uh, sweep is very simple. Extend my leg and put my elbow on the floor right here. And I like to have my elbow on the floor before I sweep because then I can bring my opponent over, okay? Over my head, all right? Why I'm putting my back on the floor. So I go one, and then two, I pull him like this. But I cannot bring his hand this way, okay? So I must keep his hand connected with my hip, or even between my legs, all right? Between my legs, he's not gonna let that happen because he knows the triangle can come here, so he's gonna be afraid of that. So he's gonna keep his hand right here. So I just squeeze using my, my hand against his hand right here on top of his hand, okay? And don't let his uh, hand move right here. So I go one, and now two. Try to post your hand on the floor so he can't post the hand on the floor, okay? So I can sweep the leg, right? Bring it to the side, and I get on mouth position. This is very basic, very simple, okay? But the way you're gonna do it here, before we, we use this, uh, this spider guard, we're gonna do a spider guard on his appeal, okay? 
So you're gonna open his lapel and I control like this. You see, don't grab just the collar, okay? You're gonna control the whole cloth of the lapel, okay? Like this. Now I'm gonna escape the hips and I'll place my foot right on the lapel, right here. Okay, like this. So once I place my foot on the lapel, uh, there's a little bit of, little difference, okay? Which, in Jiu Jitsu, a uh, little different make a huge difference, like a little detail make a huge difference in the technique, okay? So, when I post the foot on the lapel right here, okay, make sure like the whole foot is like over in the lapel and your toes are outside. You cannot do like this in the fight, okay? This is illegal, okay? This is not good, okay? So make sure you put your foot like this. Um, according to IBGF, this is illegal. Okay? But also, like a lot of people, they can, a lot of you uh, can get hurt. You can get hurt by putting your foot like this, and also um, your foot can get stuck, or he can, you can rip his his knee. Okay? So that's not good. So you go right here. All right. So his arm, okay, sometimes can be over my, yeah, over like this. I can go outside of his arm. And actually when I go outside of his arm, it's even better, okay? I extend like this. Now his arm is gonna get trapped right here, okay? His arm can also go the other way, like this. But with the arm the other way, it's gonna be easier for me to like just shoot a triangle here, you see? Again, if his arm is on top, which arm on top, like this, okay? I can easily start like working to step my leg over and then pass my leg over the lapel, and just keeping his, uh, my leg between his arm and the lapel here, and I start going for the triangle. But usually like when you're opening the lapel, your foot is working here, you can pass the lapel behind his, his tricep here. So you open like this, and then you step your foot on the lapel like this, now it's gonna be hard for him to take that arm out. Okay, it's hard, I just close my knee, Okay, and I keep extending the, the leg, okay? He can extend, uh, he can actually stand up, right, like this, but I still have a really good control. The only difference between his stand up and having the knees on the floor is the way I sweep him, okay? Uh, when you stand up, like this, uh, good news here, it's hard for you to do a throw by, it's hard for you to like pass your guard, so it's good for you to control like this. Right, you're gonna post your foot right above the knee. Okay, it's not on like right on the knee or on the shin, so it's right above, so it's on the femur. Okay, so I'm gonna bring him up, same way, and I'll push his his leg. Okay, going to this side right here. Also, I can attack the triangle here right now. I can start mounting him, like pulling the lapel, and I have this arm between my legs, you see? I'm going to kind of like an S mount, start attacking triangle or going to an arm bar. Usually the triangle will happen when he fights to, to get back. When he, do, he doesn't want to get swept, okay? So you're here, right? I'm gonna open the lapel under his arm, like this, and I'll hug him like that. He's gonna, in the meantime, he's trying to make a posture. I'm gonna control his other sleeve, and then I close my foot here, okay? Having my elbow on the floor, see that? Now I'm gonna bring him uh, over my head, okay? Don't bring him straight to the side, it's not gonna work. So you're gonna bring him over your head like this, and now you sweep, okay? By the time he's fighting to not like, accept the sweep, he's trying to come back, that's when I set up the triangle, okay? Once I get the triangle, push his head down. You don't need to cross his arm to get the triangle, okay? Uh, you can lock the triangle to this side, okay? Or to this side right here, okay? Uh, there's a difference between both, but sometimes you gotta figure four right away. And if your opponent is with this arm here under your leg like this, it's hard for you to close to this side right here, to the traditional side, okay? So you're gonna close to the other side, okay? He's not gonna feel as much, the triangle, but in the meantime, I can work right here. I like this 
uh, wrong triangle. This is like a wrong triangle, like wrong setup, I would say, right? You can't choke him, but you can keep working on like Kimura's, underhook his arm, going for arm bars, or even like underhook his arm, and then change to the other side. Okay, and then three to four leg. All right? Because when I, when I need to close the triangle, the traditional triangle, I need his bicep against his face, okay? You see like his bicep here is, like, is far from his face. So that's why it's hard for me to lock the triangle, you see? So what I do, I bring his bicep against his face, now I can lock a perfect triangle, okay? But if you feel like his bicep is away from his, from his face, you're gonna close to the other side. This side right here, and then you're gonna work to underhook his arm, try to get an arm bar here, right? In the meantime, he doesn't wanna tap. You're gonna control his head with the underhook on his arm, you see? And then I start changing the side. And then I finish right here, okay? All right, again, that's a sweep you're gonna learn. Very simple. Again, I'm gonna open the lapel. I can uh, pulse on the lapel when his arm is away like this, okay? I can do like this, but you see like the lapel doesn't work as much when his arm is outside, see? It's like, you can tell like when you, when you drill, you can feel that, okay? So you're gonna notice that when you pass the lapel behind his, his armpit like this, and then skate and then step right here, that's when you feel the lapel working really well, okay? This is very strong, all right? Of course, if I'm finding someone that uh, knows what's happening here, and the spider guard or any foot on the lapel, he's gonna try to stand up, pass my guard, okay? So that's what I'm gonna use my foot on his femur, push, and then sweep it to the side. Huge chance, huge chance for you to, to uh, finish the triangle of the omoplata here. Because it's gonna bounce back like this. In the meantime, you start going for a triangle or set up the omoplata, okay? Like 90%, 85% of chance, your opponent will try to bounce back and you're gonna set up a triangle. I want you to do a couple times sweeping, coming up, going to arm bar. Like from like kind of like a mount position, but like sometimes you drill like with your opponent bouncing back. Okay, maybe like two sweeps and two times you're gonna set up a triangle or the omoplata. Okay, any of the fight is gonna happen like this. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time to open his lapel. Okay, I'm gonna pass the lapel under his arm. Right now, I'm gonna push the lapel to the upturn. Huh? I'll pull out the lapel to the outside like this. You see that I'm grabbing like this, okay? Escaping my hips and then pushing here, okay? So if you, if you keep the knee on the floor, I just sweep here, try to fight back. He's gonna fight back, fight back, turtle, 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 turtle. You see, I go for the triangle. Because when he's trying to turtle, like he's, his legs are way and far for you, okay? So you have no frame to defend the triangle. So do one time the knee here. Yeah, he's gonna step like this, you see? Sometimes I'm gonna be right here or inside, okay? If he's inside, it's even better, okay? It's really hard for me to escape from this, okay? In this case here, I stay with the knee on the floor. He can also push my knee if he feels like he needs that, okay? Like this. And you see like he's tapping his foot on the floor right now, stepping foot on the floor, like this. Okay, go back. As soon as it start coming up, go, come up, come up. Here, I'm gonna fight back like this to put my belly down. That's when he's gonna get a perfect triangle. Or omoplata. You guys got it? Right? Very simple, right? Easy. Um, the only secret of this technique is fastening the lapel behind the arm before you put the foot on the bike. Okay? And if your opponent stand up, it's a great way for you to rest right there because you can also, when you're here, okay? No, you can't go like this. So grab the lapel like this first, and then go back here, adjust the lapel like this, 
In the meantime, we're going to strike the stand up, the and then we step here. Okay? Now let's say if I want to just play guard, like stand up. You see, it's hard for him to stand up. If I just want to keep on guarding here, I can last on this side, I can, I can be like this, okay? Here, where I can make transition to X guard, you see? That give me a lot of options, okay? This is the basic one. Bounce back, boom, okay? And then you can lock the triangle to this side first, under hook, switch in the side, and then finish the play. Okay, so each person do four times. Four times just sweeping, four times setting up the, the re, with the reaction, okay? Triangle. Any question? You guys have any questions about the technique? No question, okay, let's go. One, two, three. All right, guys, uh, one detail here, very, very important. When you open the lapel here, okay, uh, you need some slack, don't grab too much towards the, the end of the lapel, okay? Give some slack right here. And also, when you place your foot on the lapel, uh, try to go with your foot sliding his arm, okay? Very close to his arm. I see some of you like pulsing your foot like far from the lapel like this, you see? Because you want to control his shoulder. So if I'm here, I'm not controlling his shoulder, see? I need to go with my foot really close to his, to his shoulder, so that way, you see that this part of the lapel, it's making a hook on his shoulder, okay? And that makes a huge difference. Okay, so when you place the foot, don't place like towards the end of the lapel, but towards like the side of his shoulder, okay? That will make, make a huge difference. And of course, when you start doing this, your opponent will feel like if his arm is inside, you can go for a triangle, he's gonna place one knee between your legs. Yeah, right, exactly, like this. Okay, and then you start escaping your hip to the side of the lapel. Okay, and then you're here. Now I can go reverse the lahi, but you see, you start playing with this. Look, boom, sweeping, go back. Or you can go pushing to the side, under hooking his leg, going for X guard. Okay. This is just the beginning. The sweep here is just the beginning, right? So if you, if you act, with the leg, stand up. With this leg here, between his legs, you're gonna find something here. Even like letting him pass her guard, he goes the own belly here, and then I can start pushing to the floor. Can I make like a little trap, okay? Because the foot on the lapel will make him stuck, so he can go side control me, go, try to go side control, go hug me. He can't. This foot here will, will help you. Okay, you can put the knee on his belly here, make it off balance that way, start underhooking his leg, putting him back on guard. Okay, it's very important to keep that foot there the whole time, okay? No matter what, even if you pass it. But one thing I cannot let, that, uh, not let happen is having my opponent pass to the other side, to the side of the lapel. Go this way here. Take your arm out. Yeah, start circling around. When you start circling around, maybe I'm gonna lose the position here, okay? So, So when I'm here, okay, I can actually bring this back to this side here, okay? Because I block him from walking towards the side of the lapel. So now if he wants to come this way, come this way here, I can start create movements to scramble, to sweep, and get on top of him or get underneath of him. Okay, that's the main goal right here, okay? Here. Right? It's a very strong way to control. Let's say you find someone really, really tall and your legs are shorter than your opponent and you're gonna feel uncomfortable on pushing him. You feel like, you know, like you can't push, okay? Work the reverse of the hip hook, okay, right here. And then make sure you frame with your form under your leg so your leg doesn't go to the floor here. So have a good frame so you can rest. Now you can start working here. He's gonna try to pull the leg forward, underhook his leg, and then start setting up X guard, okay? With the sweeps, there's like different reactions and different actions that you can do from the position, okay? So you just need to make sure he doesn't pass the side of the lapel and that's it. Okay, you guys understand?
You guys have any questions? All right, so now we're gonna drill with more pace, with a higher pace, okay? Uh, I want you to drill, like imagine yourself on the fight, okay, during the fight. So you sweep and your, your partner will try to bounce back right away, and then you go for the triangle and omoplata, okay? Of course, your goal is trying to come up, but like, let your opponent, like, let your partner try to turtle and then you go to the triangle, okay? Also, you can do variations from there, like reverse or E, but try to play around a little bit. So we go like back and forth one time each, okay? So I sweep, I get the omoplata, I get the triangle, finish him, then I go top to bottom, now he's his turn. So the person on top, just uh, react like 30, 40%, don't go too hard, okay? Just move a little bit, all right? Let's go, one, two, three.